Hey guys, Mark Kwok here. Today we're talking eyewear. I've talked about eyewear before, particularly around a brand called Oliver Peoples, because I love Oliver Peoples. But today we're talking about another brand, a specific brand called Jacques Marie Mage. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but it's probably more French, Jacques Marie Mage. But yeah, let's talk about this. All right, so I'm gonna link to my Oliver Peoples sunglasses review here, but I'm a huge fan of that company. <laughs> Oliver Peoples is considered kind of the best version of sunglasses and glasses out there. They're a little bit overpriced to be honest, and you know, they're probably not worth it from a quality perspective, but they have brand, design, I don't know, customer service. There's just a lot to it that I love, and so I continue to buy those glasses and sunglasses. However, in the comments below after I posted a video about that, there was someone that recommended this brand JMM, Jacques Marie Maj. And I heard about them slightly at one point, but I forgot about them. And then I start to hear about them more and more. And that guy, whoever it is, thanks for <laughs> recommending because I ended up going to the store. We have one near uh, SoCal that I went to and I was kind of blown away by their designs. Now the Jacques Marie Maj, I only have one um, design that I got is called the Dylan or it, it looks more like Dialan, that's D-E-A-L-A-N or something like that. But it is supposed to mirror uh, Bob Dylan's glasses and it looks very similar to that. And so these are the glasses, very hefty looking, very, you know, big and bold. And this is how it looks on my face. Uh, I'm not gonna be a douche and just keep these on the entire time, but I'll show you guys some B-roll of these particular glasses. But what do I think about this brand? The synopsis is this. I think these glasses are probably the highest level of glasses I have ever encountered and seen, but that comes with a couple big, big cons that I wanna explain. So Jacques Marie Maj, I think this is a Los Angeles company. So it's actually, you know, near here and they have some amazing packaging. I mean, I'll show you guys like, it's, it's, it's a really, really nice store as well. Like just the high end experience. This is the carrying case made in pure leather and it has like magnets in it and stuff, but it's like beautiful and nice and you just wanna take it around everywhere. It's JMM has become quite popular, I think in the celebrity world. Like for instance, if you watch Succession, um, Jeremy Strong who plays Kendall Roy, he wears a pair of Jacques Marie Maj sunglasses. It's thick. It looks really, really like nicely crafted. The inside of the arms look like they have high quality materials in them. It feels hefty. It feels nice in the hand. It feels nice on the face. It is something that I think when you talk about quality in a pair of sunglasses, like you can't get much better than this. If I compare it against my Oliver Peoples sunglasses, I mean, these are also very high quality. I mean, we're talking like these are like $500 sunglasses. So of course it's gonna be high quality. But when you look at these side by side, you can kind of tell that the JMMs are actually a little bit better made. I mean, it looks like something has happened here where they're using more premium materials or maybe it's just like thicker. Most of their frames are a bit thicker and so you can kind of, it feels hefty. The same way like, you know, a gold watch feels more hefty than like a steel watch or something like that. I also think that JMM does incredible design. I mean, I think most of their sunglasses, I've tried on a bunch and I, I had a really hard time figuring out which one to buy because I kind of loved most of them. The first like con around this is actually uh, re related to like a pro. I just mentioned how like these are really hefty and big glasses, right? When that happens, what that means is there's a lot more material in these glasses. And as a result, they end up being significantly heavier on your face than other glasses. What that leads to is potentially fatigue in your face. But more importantly, if I put these on for too long, I get those red marks pretty heavily. Just keep that in mind. I've tried things like, I, I right now I have like these little like silicone, uh, I, I don't know what these are, pads or something like that on the nose here. Doesn't really help that much. Like you're just gonna have to accept it. The second big con is going to be a shocker it's gonna be the price. I've never seen sunglasses quite this expensive. Uh, these are gonna approach the $800,000, $900,000 marks, which for a piece of plastic, like guys, like we're starting to get towards like some ridiculous territory here. I think that when you're spending MSRP for these, you need to be really, you need to have a very big cushion around your bank account because the truth is you may lose these, 
and you're out then 800 bucks. I will say right up front, if you don't think that sunglasses or designer sunglasses should cost that much to begin with, uh, like you're not gonna feel any different from these. Like, yeah, they're high quality. Yeah, they look nice, but uh, $800 is way too much to spend. $900 is way too much to spend for a pair of sunglasses. Uh, but for the rich, the rich I'm talking to here, like these are gonna be the best. So, you know, spend away. I will say there are a couple ways you can kind of get around discounts and stuff. So the number one way is via insurance. So if you have a really good vision plan, you can actually, these do come in prescription. And so there are ways where you can kind of work with a doctor's or like a, a frame shop and have them basically give you prescriptions on these. You get a discount on the frames, you get, you know, nice little padding on the, on the price and then you can just pop in the original frame so you don't even need the prescription. You can just hold the prescriptions. Now, I, that's probably on the gray area for legality, but you know, I, I think a lot of people do it. So that is one way, like I think I got these for about the same price as you would pay for the MSRP of these guys, the Oliver Peoples. And that's a, the JMM is significantly more expensive. I think these are like $895 MSRP. So price, like I, I, there's no way around it. These are really expensive. They're a super luxury item. I only think if you really want the best of the best with sunglasses and you're okay with losing $900 if someday you lose sunglasses, uh, then go after it. But for the most part, stick to maybe Oliver Peoples, Ray-Ban, like I, Ray-Ban is probably my favorite brand that's under, you know, $300, $200, something like that. So there it is, uh, Jacques Marie Image. I think it's an incredible brand because of the design and the, the aesthetic and also the, the material and the quality, the service, all that sort of stuff comes at a hefty, hefty price. It has some fit issues for some of you guys, perhaps. So if you can try it out, please do. But yeah, uh, that's my thoughts. Uh, it's kind of a recommend, but don't recommend sort of scenario. So uh, tread carefully on your own journey. Cool, well, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mark Kwok. I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh -huh.